Sleeping in a dorm room wasn't as easy as it was when I was 20. My roommates, grumpy, moany, and snorry, made getting any sleep impossible. Bleary-eyed, I made my way into town to catch the tour bus to Milford Sound. I was a little miffed when I was told the bus ride would take over six hours to get there. But soon I was in the midst of the South Island's most dramatic landscapes, and I realized that the journey there was a vital part of the Milford Sound experience. We stopped for breakfast in the lake town of Teyana. Meat pies are standard fare in New Zealand, but I can never develop a taste for them. Teyana Lake is the largest lake in the South Island. It's well over a thousand feet at its deepest. Leaving Teyana, we traveled northwest toward the Tasman Sea. As we went along, the bus driver explained the history and geology of the landscape. We stopped at numerous locales for photo opportunities. I felt transported back to a more wild time in the distant past. Once we stopped to fill our water bottles from clean glacial runoff. Upon arrival at the dock, we received our tickets and waited for our boat to arrive. Free coffee and tea was provided to the passengers. Mile-high mountains on all sides fell steeply into Milford Sound. views from every angle was a postcard waiting to be captured. Dolphins splashed and played alongside the ship. Milford Sound is an experience you must not miss. The return was a quiet one. Most of the bus passengers slept. The front desk told me that Winnie's was another place I should try. While enjoying my pizza, I met some Dutch travelers who asked me to join them for a drink. I'm not a bar hopper by any means, but in the end it was a choice between being awake all night in my dorm room or being awake all night with fun Dutch backpackers. I went out. <laughs>